if you're working for a small company or for a company that doesn't have an ATS, you actually need to go and post all of the jobs manually on LinkedIn. And in today's video, I wanted to do a tutorial about this on how you can post it manually on LinkedIn because you'll have to do this as a recruiter if you don't have an ATS that will help you post it automatically on multiple channels. Hi, my name is Cornelia, I work as a recruiter and I've been working as one for almost five years. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to post a job on LinkedIn manually, of course, because if you are a recruiter that works with an ATS, most likely you can post it automatically from that specific ATS to multiple recruitment channels like LinkedIn, StepStone, Indeed, blah, blah, blah. I will share my screen and I'll show you step by step what you have to do. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you how to go to LinkedIn. You need to go to LinkedIn Recruiter and you need to go here to this tab, which is called Jobs, and you click on Post a Job. And you'll have this window pop up with a lot, a lot of fields that you need to complete before, of course, posting the job. And all of these informations will help you attract the right candidates to apply to that specific job. And yeah, I just wanted to offer this example with a job that I actually have to post for the company that I'm working at, at the moment. And yeah, as you see here, this is the job description with the company description, what will be responsibilities of the person, what will be the package, what we offer as benefits and how to apply. Of course, all of this information you you kind of need to have prior to posting a job on LinkedIn. And usually you have this from the hiring manager, or if you don't have a job description, you have to draft it first. I also did a video about how you can do that. So yeah, before actually posting a job, you need to have a job description and a lot of details that you can put in there. Let's go back. First of all, I have to write here the company name. And you have to choose here from the companies that are already listed on LinkedIn. And this exists if the company actually has a LinkedIn page. And you have to click on it, then the job title is engineering manager. Then you have the type of the workplace, which is on site. In my case, you also have hybrid and remote. And if you would like to post on a hybrid role, usually you have to put here the city. But if you want to post it as remote, you have to put here the country where you like the candidates to be based. In my case, it's on site. And I'll also write the job location, which is in Berlin. Great. Type of employment. As you see here, you have multiple that you can choose from. And in my case, it's full time. Of course, these are all of the informations that you'll have prior to actually posting these jobs. And the seniority level, I would say here mid to senior level because an engineering manager is not a director, is not an executive level, also is not a mid person, but yeah, I would say like mid to senior, I think that this would be a little bit better and most suited for this kind of role title. Then you have here the recommended industries. These are industries that LinkedIn will recommend to you that are linked to the company that you choose here. So yeah, this company is in, I would say, event technology. But yeah, because they recommended this, I will choose it because an engineering manager, in my case, I would like to have these skills in electronics, electrical, appliance, manufacturing, and so on. Then I'll also add something related to events because this is so basically the industry. So I'll choose here event services. And you can select here up to three, but yeah, in my personal opinion, we can leave it like this. Then the job function. This is related to the job description that you have here. And because I'm looking for an engineering manager, I'm basically looking for two skills, engineering and managing. And yeah, you can see here that you can select up to three. So first of all, I'll write engineering and managing. Then if we move forward here in this big box, you'll actually have to copy the job description that you have. Okay, so we will delete it and copy this one. Yeah, as you see, it has been paste it in a weird manner. So yeah, I'll have to arrange it a little bit before actually posting it and make it easier to read for people that will actually want to apply for this role. Then moving forward, you'll have here these added skills up to 10. So these skills are very important and it will be a good idea to add them because based on these skills, LinkedIn will recommend this job to people that have similar skills written on their profiles. So yeah, it's very, very important to choose here the right skills because this will help your job be promoted to the right people. So yeah, let's start with first one, engineering. I would say management. Let's see if we have engineering management. Okay, let's choose mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. So yeah, at the first glance, I think that all of these skills are enough at the moment. I will see how the job performs and how many people are actually applying to this. And if I see that the number is very low, I'll try to change them or yeah, try to find some skills that will be better fitted to attract the right candidates. Then the next field, this one, how would you like to receive your applicants? This is a very important one because in this field or with the help of this field, you can actually choose how would you like for the candidates to apply for your job. And you have two options. The first one is this one with the email where you can require them, require the candidates to also attach a CV. And uh, in this one, you have to basically write the email 
that you would like the candidates to send their CVs to. And the second one is to put a link that will direct them to your company page. And from there, they can actually go and create a profile of the candidate on your ATS or on your company database. This really depends on the company type and if you have an ATS and a database for every candidate. But yeah, just to show it a little bit how this will actually look on the candidate side. On this role, when you see here this button, easy apply, this is basically an application through the email part that I've mentioned. So when the candidate will click here, easy apply, it will pop up a window with some of the details and also with the questions that you want to put to qualify candidates better. I will show them in a second. And also they can attach their CV and that's it. So yeah, this will be how it will appear on the candidate side if you choose for them to apply on an email address. This role, when they have this button with apply, basically if you click on it, they will direct you to a web page when the candidates have to create a profile to apply for that specific role. Let's say that in my case, I would like them to apply through email. And also click here that I require them to attach a resume. Moving forward, adding a project. So this will be a project on LinkedIn where all of your applicants will be stored. So even if they just click on the apply button and don't complete the application, or if they go fully to the whole application, you'll have to create a project where LinkedIn can store all of these candidates that apply to your job posting. Yeah, you can either choose from the projects that you had before, or you can create one by yourself. Then we can move forward to the next page. And here is very important because here you can add some screening questions. These are the questions that you can uh, make the candidates to respond to that will help you select better their application. And you can choose, as you see here, from a lot of things. I usually ask them about their visa requirements, so if they have the eligibility to work in the country that I'm recruiting, their salary expectations, and their language proficiency, even if it's German or English or anything that I need. I'll start with the salary one. So you have to click here on custom question if you can find a question that you want from the one that you already see here. And also you need to choose here the type of answer. In this case, it has to be numeric because the people have to actually write here the salary that they would like to receive. And also you have to click here this thing, must have screening questions, because if you are not clicking it, basically the candidate can move forward within the application process without actually completing the things here. Okay, another one, I want it to be about the language. So yeah, I can click this one here. So you can choose the language in my case, I would say English. And I want it to be at a professional level, must have qualification. And the last one will be visa status. And here you have the ideal answer no, because you or most of the companies don't like or won't like to sponsor the visa of a candidate. So yeah, this would be the ideal answer. Of course, you can choose a lot of other questions. For example, if they are open to work on site or if they are open to work remotely or if they have a specific education that you actually need to consider before seeing all of the candidates in the interviews. So yeah, based on the job description that you have, you can choose here a lot of screening questions. In my opinion, I would say not to choose that many. I, I don't know, like five, maximum six questions. Because yeah, if you have a lot of screening questions, most likely the candidates will, will get bored and won't apply to your job anymore just because you have a lot of other questions that they have to reply to. And then we press continue. And on the last page, you have this field here where you can either choose for the candidates to see the profile of the person that they post the job or not. I always choose for them to see it just because from what I know from LinkedIn, this will help candidates have more trust in that specific company or to apply to that specific role just because they can see the face of the person that is behind posting that specific job. So yeah, there are a lot of people out there that, that are scared of, of fake roles or positions where they basically give their information to and those roles don't exist in general and they are just collecting information. So yeah, if you press here for them to see your profile, it will help you receive more applicants because they will have more trust in applying to that specific job ad. And yeah, after that you click post. I won't click it here just because uh, I don't want to post it yet. But yeah, basically if you click it here, you will have your job posted. And you can click here a preview before posting it to see how the job will actually look like on LinkedIn and to check if everything is perfect and of course it's how you would like it to be. So yeah, this will be all. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check the next video. Bye!